Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have another Paymaster Games Mythic Beast with us in a baggie here, no less. The model which I speak of is none other than the Ahwizadl. If I said that right, hooray for me, and if I didn't, I blame Modern Education. I couldn't really blame Modern Education, could I? Because this is like old Aztec era stuff. So anyway, our Ahwizadl, if I'm saying it correctly, and if I'm not, I'm sure one of you will hopefully remind me down below, is based on a traditional monster of the Aztecs. And he has these funky little flipper things, funky ears, because he's got the hair. He's like a combination of a whole bunch of different animals. And unfortunately, I'm home and the kids aren't, because I know if I go ask my son, he'll give me the whole detailed background of it. Maybe I still will. Interestingly, they have webbed paws. Not flippers, but paws. I think these might be flippers. I'll have to go ask him. Or maybe they're ears. He'll tell me. When I have a chance to put it all together, I'm sure I will have spoke to him, and I can have him correct me. And then his tail is supposed to have a hand growing off of it, which, if I remember correctly what he told me, they're supposed to use to drag their victims under the water. Ooh, gruesome, right? Anyway... My first worry is I gotta be careful with these things on his back. I don't wanna break them, and knowing me, I have a very likely chance that that'll happen. So fingers crossed that it doesn't. Otherwise, the model itself doesn't look too complex in terms of putting it together. Hopefully we can have his paws fit nice and flush with the body. We'll see. And then I get the joy of trying to figure out how to paint this thing. I wanna say it was supposed to have the body of a panther. That sounds right. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling to myself. Hopefully the kids will be home soon so I can bug them for information. And then we will show you what it looks like. Sound good? Hope so. So here is our finished Ahwazadl. And I'll be honest, I did not do the best job of putting it together so far. And I also wanted to mention that these gaps on his arms are going to definitely need to see some serious filling uh, this is an interesting model. I'm trying to wrap my head around this one. So first we've got what look almost like ear-like shapes attached to his back. I did some research online and I talked with my kid who is a budding cryptozoologist and he said no, thing is supposed to have been named because of its spiky lumps of hair or something on its back. Uh, so I mean it could be. <clears throat> and what was another interesting fact was I had a window open about it at work one day, and I had a student mention, oh, I remember that thing, it was in My Little Pony, and, and I was absolutely flabbergasted, I thought they were just joking around with me, and I went online and found out that, yes, yes, there was a Huizotl that was in My Little Pony, so, okay, take that for what you will. Anyway, these things on his back, whatever they be, spikes, ears, clumps of fur, what have you, were quite delicate, and I already broke to just picking him up, trying to get him put together. And I think it's going to be really interesting how to actually balance him on a base. So my first thought is there's this tiny little peg here, and it does make sense to have him kind of leaping up and actually have his tail glued onto the base, because they were supposed to be predators that lie, lay in wait and ambush their prey, you know, dragging them into the water. They were aquatic creatures after all. So I guess the size is pretty okay. It's not like they have a actual, you know, dedicated size recommendation for these creatures, but just using a Pacific Northwest hero here as a good human sense of scale. Um, obviously, he's not an Aztec. I don't have any painted Aztec character models handy and I just thought oh yes I do I have one tucked away in a box somewhere along with everything else that I need like infinity models that I was looking for anyway okay I'm losing track of what I was saying so yeah it looks like a pretty good encounter for a human sized model but I'm thinking you know what it would look even cooler with is a bunch of 15 millimeter or 170 second scale models and then you really got something impressive and it looks like he's just gonna just devour him here so once again a cool interesting design from paymaster games i just wish there was a little bit more fur on the body as well there's not a lot of surface detail you can see like some of the clumps of fur on his paws or his hands because they were supposed to have actual hands so i'm assuming these are supposed to be thumbs 
Uh, but other than that, there isn't a lot of actual fur on the body. There is by the ears again. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do color-wise. I'm thinking, obviously, since it's probably based on a panther, we're going to go with a black. But I think it might be fun to have some like really bright blues and greens with these things. Maybe they're just for decoration. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I'm curious. Maybe Paymaster can fill me in on the details because that is one of the fun things about their models is I find myself going down those mythology rabbit holes on Wikipedia and online looking for information about these creatures and sadly I know my kid had some books that had mention of these but they were in Japanese and I can't read that level of kanji sorry I'm only like a first grader in that regard so we'll just have to make do with what we already know again interesting model it's just going to be a challenge to get the most out of it surface detail wise and I believe this is the newer version there are two Ahwazadl sculpts that Paymaster has so maybe one is more to your preference this one's leaping out whereas the other I think is more in a prowling pose down on the ground so you can keep that in mind when taking a look at their website I'll put a link down below and hopefully you will find something there that strikes your fancy with that said this is High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures Say thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.